What indeed is the big idea? We need to be willing to do the genuine experiments that will learn the answers to the question of what works and what doesn't. Resolve to make sure today's young minds are nourished completely and that their spirits are encouraged to fly. Now that's a big idea. If science is communicated by showing the big ideas, if science is communicated by showing the exhilaration of discovery, wow, it comes to life. I was told that at Aspen, big ideas are best delivered wearing flip-flops. <laughs> if we get rid of our inhibition, I think that we need to start competing. We cannot bomb ideas out of people's heads. So my idea, not so big, but just, you know, big enough to you is this. Let's start treating museum as, museums as the R&D departments of society. Every year I come and I watch everybody give their ideas, so I was so excited to get up here and present my own. In sports, my big idea is that players own the game. If we're going to tame the world's wicked problems, we need to be much more ambitious, much more disruptive, much more democratic in the way we innovate. And I think that is the lesson I take away. Uh, the future is not preordained. As I look to my left, I look to my right, I look at the people around me, and I think they may be right about their beliefs and ideas. Maybe I should listen to them. Maybe I should find common ground. You know, it's a real responsibility, I think, on all of us to be open to learning new things, because you can't really decide these cases in an intelligent way un unless you make a commitment to figure out all the things you don't know about. My big idea is that we face a crisis in empathy and that we can cure it with conversation. Nobody's telling you what to play. You're just getting up there and you create. And if you can take that into other areas of your life, I think you live a healthier life. Everyone here has hundreds of great ideas. Everyone needs a context in which those big ideas can come out. But people don't need training to create big ideas. They have big ideas all the time. You are self-filtering your big ideas. If you believe in yourself and you have a dream, anything can happen. Democracy is a contact sport. Everyone gets bruises, even the winners. And the kind of bickering we see today is not only unproductive, it's cowardly. If you don't have the guts to focus on ideas and stop tearing down individuals, you belong in the stands, not on the field.